guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would take just a second to hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of my YouTube family. Today, I wanted to unbag, I was going to say unbox, but this is definitely not a box, unbag my boxy pop-up purchases for you so you could see them. And I did cut the envelope open before I filmed this because I wanted to make sure that nothing was broken because I've seen horror stories of people like getting a ton of stuff in just a little envelope like this and like product shattered all over in there. So I did open it and peek inside but that is it. I haven't taken stuff out. I just looked and as far as I could tell nothing appears broken. So let's get in here and see what all I got. Um, if you're not familiar with Boxy Pop-Up, they have once a quarter I believe um, a special sale that they call the pop-up sale. It is for active charmers, all active charmers. Um, if you are on the premium waitlist or premium member or Boxylux waitlist or Boxylux member, you get early access and then all other charmers get access like the next day. So I got to shop the sale early because I was for a little while this past month um, on the waitlist for premium and then I talked to myself out of it so I'm no longer on the premium waitlist but I did I was on the waitlist during pop-up time because I was debating if I wanted to get premium for the month of June I don't know guys I'm almost over BoxyCharm again like I had canceled it a few months ago and then FOMO got me and so then I signed back up I don't know leave me a comment down below are you still getting BoxyCharm and loving it like I, I don't know like the they've gotten worse with spoilers during the pandemic which is understandable because it's just things are crazy right now but we only know our choice item for base box which i chose the tula like eye cream and then we're getting one of three different pa eyeshadow palettes um none of those palettes are really screaming to me so i don't know i'm kind of thinking i'd rather take my 25 or it's like 27 or almost 28 dollars after taxes and Maybe shop the Ulta or Sephora sale. I don't know. I haven't decided, but I'm on the fence about canceling BoxyCharm again. But for now, today, that's not what we're talking about. We're going to get into my pop-up order. So the first things in here, it's two of the same thing, are these clean skin hand sanitizers. I got both sizes, the 4 ounce and the 8 ounce. I don't remember... The prices, this one might have been $4 and this one was $6, I think, but don't quote me on that. Hand sanitizer has been super hard to find in my area around here. Um, so I've had, I have some hand sanitizer, but my husband works at a bank, so he's been working through this whole thing. And yeah, I just figured it would be good to have hand sanitizer. I know like things are starting to open up in the country. But in my opinion, I think we're going to be dealing with, you know, needing to sanitize our hands anytime we go out. So I got two hand sanitizers. Um, I don't know anything about this. It's 70% alcohol content, which is what you want to look for. Um, let's, I don't even know if they're sealed. They're not. It smells like really strong hand sanitizer. So that will be good to have. I'm surprised that these are not, there's no seal on them and that they didn't spill in the bag. So that is really good that they didn't spill. Okay, the next thing in my box is this Kypris serum. I love this serum. Um, and we've gotten this in our boxes several months ago and it was in an add-on sale. I don't know, I somehow, I think I have like three of these. And I love them. Um, but this was $4 in the pop-up sale. So I was like, uh, yes, I will buy myself another backup. That doesn't look like it's sealed. Maybe it is. I was trying to see, like, there's kind of little, little white tab things in there. Like, when you open it, it breaks the seal. Um, and it didn't look like it was sealed. But I think it is. So, anyways, I bought a backup to my backup for $4. If you haven't used this... A lot of things, like this says antioxidant dew quench and glow serum. I was really unsure about this because I have, my my skin tends to be more oily. In the winter, not so much, but most of the time, like if I, I'm, I have combo skin, but this stuff has been awesome. 
because it hasn't made me extra oily, but it also has like fixed the dry patches. Like I normally, my cheeks get really dry in the winter and I just have like spots on my face that like gets dry and under makeup, like it looks almost scaly cause it just starts to get dry. This has like almost 100% fixed that. So I love this stuff. It is awesome. I probably should have picked up more than one for $4, but I don't really know. It has a six month shelf life once open, but I don't know once, like if I don't open it, how long it'll last. But um, yeah, anyways, this was $4 and I am definitely excited to have that in my backup collection. And the next thing that I got is this brow bar kit. I should have looked up prices beforehand. Of course, like BoxyCharm doesn't have a receipt or anything inside. So I don't remember how much I paid for this. It couldn't have been more than $6. But um, this is the medium shade, right? Yeah, medium. And I absolutely love this product. I have not used the medium. I have the dark, which I do like. But out of, let me open it for you here. Okay, so if you're not familiar with what this is, it has like a concealer. I think you're supposed to like contour out your eyebrows. I don't know. I don't use that at all. And then in the dark one that I have, this is like pretty much black. And then this is brown. So the brown is a pretty good shade. It's a little dark in the dark. But when I saw they had the medium one, I was like, oh, that's awesome because, um, that one might be too light, I'm not sure, but that looks like a perfect shade for my brows. And this one might, I might be able to mix with the dark, the darkest color in the dark. Um, plus I wanted to get this brow gel cause the one that came with my dark set that I got in my box, um, it's way too dark. So I figured the medium might be a good match. So that was a lot of talk about this, but I picked this up because I love it and I only have the dark one and I thought the medium might be a better match for my brows. So I think it was $6. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's how much it was. Okay, so the next item in here is the Tula Pro, if I can talk, the Pro Glycolic Resurfacing Gel Toner. Now, I love all things Tula, especially this blue line, like the probiotic line love them. In fact, FabFitFun has like a secret summer like add-on sale going on right now. If you haven't seen that video, I did like screen record all of the items in the sale. So you might want to check that out if you haven't seen that and you're a FabFitFun member or considering it. But anyway, they have my HG Tula face wash in there for $9 a piece. So that was the first thing I maxed out on my cart. I'm getting three of them. I love it. But anyways, this is from that line. I've not ever used this, but like I said, I love all things Tula, especially the blue line. So, and I'm getting kind of low on my toners that I'm currently using. I have other toners and I even have one coming in my FabFitFun box, but I have three toners open right now that I just kind of rotate. Like one's a little harsher. So if I'm feeling like extra dry, I definitely don't use that one. Or if I'm going to use a mask, like a clay mask or something, I won't use that one. And then I have one that's like super mild. And then I have like an everyday one. So, but they're all getting low is what I'm trying to say. So this is going to go into my rotation. I am super excited. Oh, that's weird. I've never, I've seen like toners that come like that with a little pump. Um, all the ones that I have either like a flip top thing where it just kind of pours out or there's just no like cap at all. You unscrew it and it's an open bottle and you put it on your cotton pad. So that one will be a little bit different. But anyways, I know nothing about this other than it's Tula and I had to get it. I think this was like $12. I'm terrible with the prices, sorry. I should have looked up all this before I got on here, but I did not. Okay, I have two more things in my bag. The next item is I Do Care Mini Meow Trio. So this is three different peel off masks from I Do Care. Um, let's see what they are. I think that I'm positive. I sound so sure. I think I'm positive. Pretty sure this was $5 for all three of these masks. So 
This first one is the I Do Care Space Kitten T-Zone Clearing Galactic Black Peel Off Mask. I know I have not tried this one. Um, this one, is, the next one is the I Do Care Sugar Kitten Hydrating Holographic Peel Off Mask. I have tried this one. My daughter owns this one and she has let me use it and it is really nice. And this one I have used and I own the full size of. So yeah, the I Do Care Disco Kitten Illuminating Diamond Peel Off Mask. Um, and I really love these masks. I am not a fan of peel off masks normally. I am a peel off mask failure normally. Um, I have peel off masks that do not work for me and then my daughters will use them and be like, mom, I don't know what your problem is. They totally work just fine. I mean, I have a couple that suck for everybody. <laughs> like nobody can try, you know, get them to work. But I don't know what it is with me. I put a peel off mask on, let it dry like longer than the recommended time and it will not peel off. Like I literally sometimes when I do a peel off mask, I'm sitting there like peeling off like pieces smaller than my fingernail, like all over my whole face. And then I give up and I wash it off. So when I tried the I Do Care masks, these are awesome. I can do these perfectly. Like my oldest daughter who has like several of these, she will like sit there and try to peel it off all in one piece and almost always can do that. I don't take that much time to do it, but it comes off like in big chunks. Like I can get like half of my face off, you know, like in one peel off and then yeah, these are awesome. So I'm excited to try this black one. These are just fun little, you know, would be good for travel or whatever. But anyways, if you're looking for a peel off mask that actually will peel off, I highly recommend I Do Care. Like all of their masks are awesome. And me, who is a peel off mask failure, admittedly a peel off mask failure, can get these to work. Like I've never put it on and not gotten it off. So I love it. I highly recommend them. They are great. Okay. Now, the last item in my bag, I almost in my box. Okay, so yeah, nothing's damaged in there. That's very exciting. Okay, this is the last item in my bag. It's a Dose of Colors um, Liquid Matte Lipstick in Nude Mood. And we have gotten Dose of Colors several times from BoxyCharm. Um, I have several different matte liquid lipsticks from them, but this is a different color than one that we've had. And I think two of the three that I've gotten are like really terrible red, like one's even like an orangey red shade, nothing that would work on me. So this is just super fun. It's like the perfect nude color. So yeah, I'm not going to open it. Like I say in every video, I have like a million lipsticks open. You can't really see them, but I can't even point. Whoa, why am I not able to point? Okay, over there. <laughs> on top of that, I've got like a little clear acrylic thing. You're not quite like able to see it. I can move my camera just a tiny bit. Okay, that whole like acrylic thing behind those little white papers, those are all my lipsticks that are open. There's probably 35 open right now, so I don't need to open another one, but this is going to go into my drawer, and I am definitely excited to try that color. And I think this was $4, so what? Like $4 for liquid lipsticks. Okay, this is my problem and why I'm debating if I should keep BoxyCharm or not. I'm kind of over the boxes right now, but I love getting these kind of deals like $4 for a liquid lipstick, $4 for an awesome Kypra serum. And I think this one retails for like $80 or something. So I don't know, but right now I don't even have premium or boxy Lux. So by the time I would shop again, like next time pop-up happens, all this stuff sells out like within seconds. That's the one problem um, with their pop-up. It's not like FabFitFun where you get on and add everything you want to your cart and it's in your cart, safely yours, and then you can like think about it. With Boxy Pop-Up, you get in there. Okay, that's the camera angles bothering me now. You get in there and you have to check out. Like you add it to your cart and you have to check out and a lot of times you're checking out and stuff is like taken out of your cart or it won't let you check out because it's like, we're sorry, things are out of stock. So yeah, I don't know. I'm on the fence. What should I do? Do you guys still get BoxyCharm? Do you like BoxyCharm? Do you like seeing me unbox BoxyCharm? I guess that's a big question too. I'm kind of over it, but if it's something that you guys want to keep seeing, I may still keep it or I just might give in to temptation and keep it. I don't know.
but I just feel like I have so many subscription boxes right now I need to do something but anyways I'm rambling I guess I'm bored quarantine's getting to me I need to talk to people um okay so anyways let me know down in the comments what you think of BoxyCharm should I keep it should I cancel it again and what did you think of my pop-up sales like these are awesome things great prices on awesome products and as always guys if you are not subscribed please do so and hit that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy unboxings and boxy charm spoilers and all that kind of stuff so anyways thanks for watching guys and have a great day